Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm continuing to enjoy some uh, quiet boondocking here in the southwest. I have a couple items to show you today. They're sort of related to boondocking. At least they're going to be handy when it comes to boondocking for me. Um, if you remember, I guess sometime in the summer, I uh, picked up a new heater for the rig, uh, an electric heater. Um, this is a True North heater from a company called... I'm probably going to butcher all these names, but Ca Caframo, I think it's called. Um, anyway, it was on sale at a, a local hardware store in, up in Canada. It's actually made in Canada. All the products are, are made in Canada. Um, in Ontario, I think the company's on Georgian Bay. Anyway, this has been a nice quality heater. Um, I did a review on it when I first got it. It was part of a kind of a bunch of mini reviews I did. And so far we've been happy with it. We used it uh, in the fall there when we were on hookups. It, it worked really well. One thing uh, uh, I didn't like about it was the thermostat on it. It was a manual type thermostat and it didn't seem to, to do a good job, especially Anne had uh, said it was either too hot or too cold. So I did buy her a, a wireless setup so that I could plug it into this thing and it would it would turn on and off and she could put this by her bed that was a, another video i did and that's worked pretty good too it's uh really worked well so i'd like to actually try and find a a little better quality unit this is a uh, inexpensive kind of made in china so i, I don't really have a, a whole lot of trust in it and a friend of mine linked me to a post where one of these actually melted down on somebody so Kind of a little scary in that way so i'd like to kind of upgrade that quality because it works really bet really good anyway the story is um i i bought that myself and did the review and the company found it and they they really liked it and offered to send me a couple more items that they have for me to review so fair disclosure i didn't pay for either one of these they just sent them out to me in hopes that i would review and them when i corresponded with them i said maybe they could uh take take this idea and incorporate it into one of their newer models i think that would be a, a really good thing if you can have the thermostat where you are and the thing the heater can come on and off anyway so what did they send me what did they send me well when they offered to send me a few items um i kind of looked at what they were and i was like oh i could actually use those for boondocking so first thing here is this i guess it's sirocco 2 and it's a 360 fan. Oh, let's flip it around. In Canada, everything's got French and English on it. Increased durability, ultra quiet, and low power draw. That was the, the thing for me. Also, it's kind of on a gimbal thing, so it moves all around. And mounts and runs off 12 volts. And this thing, I guess it's J-O-I, maybe Joy. Uh, Candle-powered LED lamp. So you just put a little tea candle in that. And the heat from the tea candle causes LED lights to to work. It's kind of neat. See there, there's a girl reading by it. But you can put it on like a camp table or something. So I thought it'd be really cool for uh, to have out when we're camping and boondocking. See there again, made in Canada from imported and Canadian parts. Manufactured by Can Framo, Georgian Bluffs, Ontario. Okay, well, let's just unbox and see what we have here. Okay, so here's the little candle thing. Looks like it's made out of a pretty good stainless steel. It's a little lid here, so I guess it can act like a little, a little lantern there. Or this top part flips up. There we go. Looks like it's on some extensions, kind of like a, an antenna. You can flip that around, do different things with it. There we go. I guess that acts like that. And embedded up here, we got one, two, three, eight LEDs in there. So that's where the light comes. Let's push that back. Let's open this thing. So in here is where I guess you place the candles. A little warning thing. A couple of tea candles. Let's get a little closer there for you. You can see there's a little tea candle already in there. And when you close the door, it puts it under this little mechanism. I guess it's some type of a thermal, thermal thing that takes the heat from the little candle there. 
and changes it into electricity to run the LEDs up here. That's pretty cool. Neat little thing. So it looks pretty well built. All the all the products are pretty well built. They're not, you know, your cheap typical stuff you get, but uh, from what I gather they're not when looking online they're not cheap either, so you get what you pay for. I think this I think both these things are in the hundred dollar range after a quick look on Amazon. There we go. Put that down. There we go. Cool. Kind of neat. Not a must have, but it's kind of decorative. It's gonna be kind of thing. Well we'll try it tonight when it uh, gets dark here. I'll give you a good good demo of that product, but so far it looks good. And this one is the fan. Now this one runs off 12 volts. I'll give you a little uh, package here. It's got a mounting plate and then there's a, a wiring harness here. It needs to find 12 volts to work. And I see under here there's two screws plus and minus so I guess you hook that up and uh, find 12 volts in the rig. The cool thing about this is it's all on it's all a 360 kind of system so you've got this thing here can move all around this way and let's lock that in and this way so it goes this way as well and then it also tips the other way like that they're really big in the marine industry these are really you know like cabin fans for boats and stuff like that but it should work pretty good as well in an RV. Okay, we'll just give this a quick demo here. Hooked up to my Noku uh, booster that'll give me 12 volt source for the fan. And on the front here, it's got two buttons. It's got on and off. There we go. Not too bad. Let's try. There it's got three different speeds. So that's quite quiet. Also over here, it has a, a self timer button. So I think it's three, six, eight, twelve hours. There's some little LEDs that come on. So that's kind of nice. You can say set it for three hours if it's hot at night and you're going to bed and you want a nice breeze when you go to bed, but then it, it turns off to save power later. Cool. Just get my uh, amp meter so I can see how much uh, that's drawing. So I've hooked my amp meter up, my clamp on amp meter here up to the fan. The instructions say that in 12 volt, it does 12 and 24 volt, so you can use it on different systems. Um, low 0.12 of an amp, 0.22 on medium, and 0.35 on high, which is very low current for a fan so let's just give it a test here let's zero that and we'll go for low speed here here we are 0 0.106 for the next speed pretty well 0 0.2 call it 0 0.2 and the top speed 0.33 there you go that's not bad at all great for boondocking to have such a low current fan and it's nice and quiet. Again, might like that for a boat actually. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to install that in the rig. Keep us cool when we're boondocking so uh, maybe I'll wire that in and give you a demo, demo of it uh, working inside the RV. Okay, starting to get a little dark out now, so I figure I'll 
test this thing, give it a light. Let's see what the instructions say. Place Joey, I guess it's Joe I or Joy. Can't figure out how to pronounce that. I asked Dan, she figures Joy. So, on level surface, ensure the heat collector shield is in place before lighting. Use only a fresh, unburned 4 hour tea light candle. Okay, ensure. Let's just open the door here. It came with one right in there. Uh, trim candle wick to a quarter inch. Okay, that looks good. Place candle in candle cup. Done that. Light candle. Wait 45 seconds before shutting door closed and latch door. Keep door closed and latch. LEDs may take up to five minutes to start. Avoid moving Joey candle wax once candle wax has been liquefied. Allow candle cup to cool before changing candles. Okay, let's light this thing. Wait 45 seconds. There we go, 45 seconds. Those are all up. It says it can take up to five minutes before the lights come on, so stay tuned. Well, it didn't take five minutes, it only took about a minute. And they're already all lit up. Wow, oh, is that ever cool? That'd be really good for power outages. You know, if you wanted to, to have some light. Can't find batteries for your flashlight and stuff. Neat. So we'll let it burn, let it get a little darker here, and we'll see how it is in the dark. Also, it's kind of windy outside, so maybe I'll take it outside and see uh, if it can handle the wind out there. Looks like it's quite enclosed, so it should do a good job. Happy's blowing pretty stiff. A little bit of wind out, out here. Let's see how it's performing. There we are. So the candle's blowing around a bit, but it's not going out. So it can handle pretty good breeze and keep working. Well, I'm waiting for it to get a little darker here. I'll show you my the fan. I've installed it up here, just uh, screws into the wall, there we go. So what I did is I ran it through an existing opening I had up here. This is for my uh, cell booster antenna feeds into there. So I already had that hole open and I was able to patch into a 12 volt source back here that I had before at this 12 volt for my backup camera. So it's pretty easy. Decent little spot. Main reason I wanted it here I can point it down at my computer and stuff and keep myself cool. Also this is where we usually hang out to watch TV and things so it'd be a nice place and it's kind of out of the way up here when we're not using it we can kind of poke it like that and put it put it kind of out of the way like that cool this i think that's going to be a good addition a little bit of cooling when we're boondocking in summertime and we don't want to run the the full ac which can kind of be annoying and let's just give you a look at the timer so you turn it on there and then up here you press that and you can see the LED lights different levels so it starts out as a three hour timer. It goes up. Cool. Yeah, if you hit your hand it doesn't really hurt or anything. It doesn't have a you know big screen on it, but that helps it move a lot of air with a lot without a lot of noise.
There we go. Here's the night scene. It actually puts out quite a bit of light. I took a few photos in the rig of it in different configurations. Just flash through those for you. It actually puts out a fairly pleasant light. It's not super obnoxious bright or anything. Kind of looks right bright right now where I'm sitting, but uh, it's more to do with the camera light. It's kind of a pleasing light, so it's nice to sit outside and, and have some light on a calm, warm evening. All it takes is the, the one little tea candle there. And it says it'll last for four hours. Kind of a cool little gadget. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, folks.